I'm not sure if it's 55 out. It's probably in the 50s. Stella's doing good. I need to bring um, Opie's enclosed stroller around here to this side. I'm going to do it today. That way I can push her out into the yard in an enclosed stroller. Yeah, she's doing good. Yeah. Give me these little things. Stick. We'll take the we'll take the yard to Stella. Some grass. Grass and sticks. Anyway, I just need to bring Opie's. He's got an enclosed stroller um, that keeps him contained that zips up. I just need to bring that around here on this side and she can set outside and be enclosed in and don't have to worry about her hurting herself. The reason Henry is out here in his pants um, is just because I've got so many out here and in case him and Wanda decided to have a scuffle, I wanted to be able to snatch him up quick. Because as we all know, they don't see eye to eye and they don't always get along, but they do the best outside. And little Sally is getting a cherry eye. So I've been doing uh, warm compresses on it a few days ago and I was able to get it pushed back in. But then it started up again yesterday and so far I've not been able to get it back in, but I'm still working on it. I told her she's a hot mess. She can't walk and she's got a cherry eye. And I got a diaper on her when she's, she don't even She's not even a diapered pup. Easy, easy. <laughs> and yes, one is not like the other. Got a Frenchie in this bunch. Bunch of some sticks. Sticks and grass. Uh, later today or tomorrow, I'm going to do some pictures of Stella's uh, amputee area in case anyone wants to see them. I'll make a post ahead of it uh, so that if people don't like to look at things like that, it won't upset them. But just mainly going to post it for educational reasons in case someone's never really seen an amputee area. trying to keep her life as normal as possible. Um, I feel like it's kind of like when people lose a limb, which obviously I've never lost an arm or leg, but I know that sometimes it impacts their mental health uh, and can cause people to feel somewhat depressed. And, um, you know, it's a life-changing experience. So um, I'm trying to keep that in mind for dogs also and I'm just trying to keep her life as normal as possible. 
So I'm going to be taking her for walks in the enclosed stroller, pushing her around uh, the neighborhood and trying to have her outside as much as I can supervised. And I've got her back with all the puppies today, not having any problems with them bothering her leg, but I'm obviously supervising. But just trying to keep her life normal. The reason I've got Sally out here in a diaper, even though she's only been wearing it because she can't stand a potty, is I don't want to get her private area dirty or get any kind of infection started being on the ground since she can't stand. Her brace is supposed to be in today for her uh, front leg, so I'm hoping that it arrives. If anyone needs a fast Frenchie, I've got one. Check that out. Hopefully this next week, um, I should have an answer from the family that I've talked to about Boots the Frenchie. And then if for some reason uh, they decide against adoption, then I will, uh, I've got a couple other people on my list. And then if she becomes available, I'll network her on my pages. I still cannot uh, do any type of transport stuff right now with Liberty because of the virus situation. So I'm, I'm very limited on moving her. Yeah, she's fasty, very fasty. Ope says she's very fasty. And Sally, Sally in her cherry eye. Hey, Sally. Come on, my boots. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And just a reminder, too, on the Frenchie, she is not incontinent. Um, I've watched her squat to pee and hunch to poop, but she definitely has a, a very leaky bladder. So when she's in the house, she has got to be diapered. Still, you still got your yard stuff in here. You got your sticks and your grass. Get all that good stuff.